Hello, Hexicans. David Feeder here. I've got a super quick tutorial that anybody can follow along and do. I'm going to show you how to get free uh, testnet pulse uh, in your MetaMask wallet that you can use and try out. So what we're going to do is all we have to do is open a web browser here. And we're going to go to gitlab.com slash pulsechain.com. This is the official repository for PulseChain. And we're going to go down to the Pulse Chain test net. We're going to go ahead and click on this here. And then if we scroll down and we're going to go to the connecting MetaMask instructions here. So now I've already downloaded and installed and set up my MetaMask wallet and I have a, a new Pulse test net right here. So we're going to go ahead and follow the instructions and up at the top of MetaMask where it says Ethereum mainnet, we're going to click on this drop down. Then we're going to go down to the bottom for custom RPC. For the network name, we're going to put in Pulse Chain Testnet. And for the new RPC URL, it's right here. It's https colon slash slash RPC dot test net dot pulse chain dot com. The chain ID is 940. And the currency here is TPLS. This is test pulse. And then for the block explorer, we'll put https colon slash slash scan dot pulse chain dot com. Awesome. And then you're going to click save. And then boom. There it is. Now our wallet is connected to the Pulse chain here in MetaMask. As you can see, I've already got some test Pulse. I've, I've already been doing this a little bit, but when you get it, it'll say zero or whatever amount of Ethereum you had in your wallet because you can do this with any MetaMask wallet technically. So now what we're gonna do is, now that we've got our Pulse chain MetaMask wallet, let's go ahead and scroll down here. And here it is. It says getting test PLS to use on the Pulse chain testnet. And you can navigate to this website right here. I'm going to read it. It's faucet.testnet.pulsechain.com. So we're going to go ahead and open that in a new tab. Switch to it. And here it is. So our MetaMask is already connected to it. We can even click on that to check. Yep, we're connected. Great. It says receive one test PLS per request. And this is the faucet that it's serving from. This is our address down below. We can even click and reference it just to make sure. 0x258f, close enough. And we're going to click request. And boom, there's our transaction ID. And if we go take it, I'm going to copy that. Let's go take a look. We should have one extra pulse. Oh, there it is. It went from 35 to 34. So there you go. This is how you can get one test pulse every 24 hours just by going to this website. And that's the tutorial. That's it. I recommend everybody try it. Grab your free pulse every day. And coming soon in the mail today, um, I'm going to be coming out with a new video very soon on how to run your own pulse chain test node in your house. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing video. I had to order a solid state hard drive um, in order to make it work. And we're going to try it. This is a test. So that's coming in the mail today. And I'm going to do an unboxing video very soon. And I'll, then I'll show you how to make your own Linux virtual machine, and how you can run Pulse Chain node on the testnet at home pretty much for free. All right, guys. I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.